Olympian Kathy Freeman has thrown her support behind The Voice, taking to social media to urge people to vote yes on October 14. It's a much needed boost for the yes campaign after the latest polls showed the no vote in the lead just over three weeks from referendum day. Despite this, the Yes campaign is reportedly optimistic. And joining me now is another former Olympian, the first Indigenous Australian to win an Olympic gold medal and also a former Senator, Nova Paris. Welcome to the program, Nova. Terrific to have you on. Thanks very much for having me. Now, if the referendum isn't successful and the polls at the moment show that it's unlikely to be, what do you think this says about Australia's attitudes to Indigenous people? Well, it says that you choose to ignore us and you choose to not see us. Um, you know, I, I spent 19 days um, with Michael Long and we spent a significant amount of time with our fellow Australians in, in regional uh, Victoria and New South Wales. And I'm very optimistic you know, I have hope and I have faith in the Australian people. So irrespective of what the polls say, um, you know, what we did see also on the weekend, you know, there was almost a quarter of a million of Australians that came out and showed their love for Aboriginal people and, you know, holding up the yes um, placards and wearing their T-shirts and saying, yes, you know, we, we support the recognition of us as First Nations people on the nation's birth certificate. Mm. And they've also said, yes, we want First Nations people to have a voice to parliament. Look, one of the key criticisms that's emerged and, and one of the main reasons that people are giving pollsters about why they're unlikely to support the voice is that they don't have enough detail about it. Given this is a once in a generation opportunity, are you disappointed with how Albanese has handled this process of, of how he hasn't given a lot of information to the public before calling the referendum. Yeah, do you know what, um, Shari, I was part of the um, Republican um, referendum way back in 98, 99, and, and too many people just got bogged down with the detail of all of this. And I don't think people are realising the significance of this once in a lifetime. All we are asking for is, is to be seen, for us to be placed in the nation's birth certificate as the first Australians. And secondly, is to allow us a voice, an advisory committee to be able to give advice on policies that affect us. Now, we're asking Australians to vote on the principle and you know, we know that the Constitution is, is a mechanism for, you know, a number of um, policies that, that, that come from it. For example, the provision for defence. There's only three lines in the Constitution that says we shall have a defence, but it doesn't say how we choose to defend this country. And, and what we do know is that the Parliament will actually uh, design the, the voice um, itself, the defence, sorry, the, the mm. voice principle. So, we're asking Australians to open their hearts and to give, allow us to have a voice and to allow us to have a vision and, and shape this country. And, you know, I, I think it would be a, a really sad indictment for us as Australians that if, if we can't go to the polls and wake up on October the 15th without all of us, you know, uniting as, as one and acknowledging 235 years plus the 65,000 years, which makes us whole as a continent. Mm. What do you think it would be like on the day after the referendum for your family, your community, uh, if what if what if happens, what looks like is going to happen if, if the referendum fails? Yeah, like on the weekend I, I led the march in Darwin and we had this young girl called Anna from uh, Groot Island and she had made this she had painted a picture of her mother's dreaming and the totems that were significant for her family. And she came up to Senator Melandiri McCarthy and I and said, I want everyone to vote yes for me. And I said, is this your picture? She said she had the, the yes on it. And um, I got her up on stage. She was too shy to talk. But I said to the, you know, the people that came out, do you see this young woman? If we're not an illusion, we are the first Australians Please give us our place in, in, in our rightful place. We don't come from anywhere else. So to deny us, white Australia, to deny us is to deny the world around you. 
you know, I believe in Australian people. There's, and, and I flew in today and these two elderly people, a male and a uh, husband and wife, and the, and the male said to me, he was in his 70s, he said, love, how do you think it's going? I said, I'm, I'm very optimistic. Mm. And he said, by God, I hope it gets up. Yeah. He said, we're all, we're all hoping and I'm telling everyone. So, you know, I, I believe in the Australian people. So it, it would be a sad indictment for not only Aboriginal people, but for all those Australians that are here and supporting us mm. and allowing us to be seen and heard. Mm. Look, just finally, uh, Nova, before you go, this debate has become very divisive. What do you think of Marcia Langton's mm. comments that the no campaign's arguments are based on racism? Oh, look, I think um, the disappointing thing in that is that the, the context of Marcia, um, you know, making that commentary wasn't given the full commentary. And, you know, for her, the, the, the people that are coming through, I think there's a, there's a component of Australians that we're never going to change their mind. And I feel that there is a, a huge dislike for Aboriginal people. So it's hard to try and convince them. And I think when people say the, the notion of if you don't know, vote no, that, that's just making Australians ignorant. You know, I believe that Australia, there's enough information out there for you to inform yourself and to understand mm. that this is a good thing for the whole of the country. So Marcia Langton is an outstanding Aboriginal woman and an Australian. And this is this is part of her legacy. And I support Marcia wholeheartedly mm. with hand of my heart. So that notion that, that racism is underpinning the arguments put forward by the No campaign, do you think that's right or not? Oh, it's definitely not right. You know, this this is this isn't an election. This is a referendum. This allows us the opportunity to shape this country and to show to the rest of the world that you acknowledge us as first Australians. And look, I've had to turn my commentary off on on my Facebook and also on my Twitter because there are ugly commentary that are coming through and they're vile and they're racially hated hatreds is aimed at me and being an Aboriginal person. So so I feel that. But you know what? There's a lot more good than there is um, mm. with racist attitudes. And, and you know, it's fantastic to see Cathy Freeman come out and support it as well. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you have your people like your Paul Kellys and your Jimmy Barnes and outstanding Australians that are standing side by side with us on this. All right. Well, no, Paris, I'm sorry to hear you've been targeted and abused like that. And um, thank you very much for joining me on the program tonight.